Hi and welcome back. Okay, so today I am going to go ahead and make those cookies. Uh, the um, butter has softened and has um, is room temperature, so it would be perfect for cookies. Okay, these are lemon balm infused cookies. You can uh, substitute this with uh, your infused but, uh, butters with any uh, recipe that you wish to add a little bit extra flavor. Also, I'm going to go ahead and do what's, what I call mock maple, maple syrup. because uh, It's mock because there is absolutely no maple in it. But because of the sale that everybody's having on corn, we're going to go ahead and use the corn cobs. Uh, this is a very unique uh, recipe. Corn cob syrup has been around for a while, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how it's done. So let's get started. Now that everybody has their corn, they're going to go ahead and, sh and um, shuck it, which means we're taking off all the leaves. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and uh, cut all the kernels off and just use the cobs. I have some left over that you can actually uh, and I put it in my freezer to be able to make a large batch. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put our corn cobs in the pan. We're going to go ahead and boil this. You want at least four, I have six corn cobs here. We're going to have six to eight cups of water. Okay, we're going to bring this up to a boil and in the meantime we're going to go ahead and um, shuck and cut off the co uh, kernels of the other uh, corn that we have. Now we're not only going to be doing uh, the corn cob uh, uh, syrup, I'm also going to use a little lemon balm to make a, a lighter lemony type of syrup. You can uh, put this as pancake syrup if you wish, you can use this as a syrup uh, for your coffee or tea depending on uh, your application. This is very versatile and very um, forgiving whenever it comes to uh, adding to your recipes. Okay, so we have our corn here. We're gonna go ahead and, and, and prepare that. I also have my lemon balm and another pan. So let's, I'm gonna use the entire quart of dried lemon balm and we're gonna make a tea out of this. Okay, and what I do is, you see this corn silk here? I'll keep that and make corn silk, silk jelly. But I'm not ready for that yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and put those in a little container and freeze it until I'm ready.
Okay, let's go ahead and cut these off and add them to the water. Now you want the corn cobs to simmer for about an hour in the hot water. So while that is being done, we'll go ahead and make these cookies. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to put a lid on this and let it simmer for an hour. In the meantime, we are going to go ahead and let this come up to a boil so we can make the lemon balm syrup as well. Okay, so now that the everything is simmering at low with the lids on for about an hour, we're going to go ahead and work on these cookies. Now you want to turn your oven to 350 and uh, some of these ingredients are going to be a little non-conventional because we're going to be using oat flour instead of regular flour. You can uh, put in one cup of regular all-purpose flour with this. I'm going to be using oats and uh, oat, I'm going to be using oat flour uh, because of needing to be gluten-free. This works wonderfully as a substitute for regular flour in this recipe. In a bowl, you're gonna put in a cup of, of oat flour. So this is gonna be a one to one ratio. That's probably gonna be all the rest I have. Time to make more. Okay, so for to the oats, you wanna add equal amount of sugar. This is not diabetic friendly. Okay, we're going to go ahead and mix everything up. These are going to be your dry ingredients. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to make a little well in the middle. We're going to add four eggs. Room temperature preferred. It doesn't have to be room temperature, but as close to as, as, as you can now. Just to let you know, these have been in the refrigerator for a little bit because it's been 90 degrees. And that's a way too warm for eggs. You can also do this in a mixer. You want to add a tablespoon of vanilla extract. It's about a tablespoon. Okay, and a half a cup of lemon butter. Now the lemon balm is going to, the flavor is going to infuse with everything. And if you have your infusion strong enough, it'll be a nice lemon balm flavor.
if you don't have any infused uh, butter, you can use regular butter, so long as it's softened. And uh, you can use an extract if you wish. A lemon extract, maple extract. This is gonna be more of a blondie than anything else, because if you can take a look, it's kind of soupy. This does get baked in a, 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 a nine by nine uh, pan. Now, if you wanna make this a true brownie, I go ahead and put in a quarter cup of uh, cocoa powder. And if you wanna leave it a blondie, leave it like this. You can also add nuts if you wish. Pecans, walnuts, whatever your heart desires. Oh, don't forget to add the pinch of salt. Okay, here is my nine by nine pan. And I have put, I have uh, gone ahead and put oil in it so that things don't stick. Now, if you don't want to stick, make them stick any further, go ahead and dust this with more of the oat flour. So that way uh, you have that nice crust that a brownie uh, usually normally has. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and bake this at 350 until it is done in the middle. You'll know whenever it's done, whenever you stick a toothpick in it, and it comes out clean. Okay, and this will take about 20, you wanna check this in 25 minutes. If it's not done, go ahead and put it in for another five minutes and keep checking it every five minutes until it is done. Put it on the medium rack. Okay, so our lemon balm is done. We're gonna turn this off and we're gonna strain it because we just want to keep the liquid. Okay, after it's strained, we want to add the liquid back to the pan and keep boiling. We want to reduce this down to about half to where we have two cups of liquid in here. Same thing with the corn cobs. You want to strain these out and keep the liquid. And then we're going to go ahead and sit here and enjoy the first shower of summer. After it being 120 degrees outside. This may last about five minutes. Okay, and just like with the tea, we're going to go ahead and reduce this. I'm going to make four cups of this, so we're going to reduce this to almost half. Reducing and removing the extra water that's in these is going to concentrate the flavor. Okay, so I measured this. I have three cups of liquid, and it's about concentrated enough and it's uh, concentrated to my tastes. You can reduce this a little bit more if you want something a little bit more stronger. What we're gonna do is we're going to add five cups of sh white sugar to the lemon balm. Okay, so we're gonna add white sugar to make lemon, uh, the lemon balm syrup but we're going to add brown sugar, the same amount, to uh, the corn cob uh, syrup. Okay, that's three. Let that dissolve for a minute, and then we'll add the other three. Okay, 
Okay, then we want to go ahead and bring this to a boil and boil the heck out of it until it becomes thicker. And I'm sorry, I said five, I meant six. It's getting humid in here. To bring anything up to a boil faster, go ahead and put the lid on it until it starts coming up to a boil and then take the lid off. We still want to uh, uh, reduce this a little bit more with the sugar inside. If it comes up to a boil, you do not want to leave it. All right, uh, because of the sugar, it will boil over. You want to make sure that you can take it off if needed for a minute. Let it boil down, cool down for a little bit, and do it again. Bring your temperature down a lot because you don't want to burn this. Now there's a really simple way of knowing if your uh, syrup is ready. Go ahead and get yourself a, a cold glass of water. And if you drip a few drops into that cold glass of water and it does not dissipate in the water, you have syrup. A nice thick syrup to be able to put on anything or in anything. Believe it or not, this is almost done. This is about halfway done. It's a little bit thicker. We want it a little bit thicker than this. So now that we have reduced the uh, corn cob down to about four cups, we're gonna go ahead and put in twice as much brown sugar now if you don't have brown sugar but have regular sugar go ahead and for every one cup of sugar that you have one tablespoon of molasses That way, you have brown sugar. Is that all, all brown sugar is, is molasses and regular sugar. Now, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing over here. Reduce this to the point to where it is syrup. All right, now that this is done, if you take a look, it's got some foam at the top. You can go ahead and remove that foam if you wish. I don't mind the foam, but this is nice and thick. And let's go ahead and jar this up. So we've got six here. I'm gonna keep one out because I wanna put one of these in the uh, refrigerator. We're gonna clean off the rims. Make sure that there's no sticky at the, on, on, on the rims because we're gonna go ahead and water bath these for 20 minutes. But before that, we're gonna go ahead and wait for the, um, we're gonna wait for the corn cob syrup to finish first and then jar that up as well.
like we're only going to need two jars need a little bit of a mess we'll clean that up First, we want to go ahead and secure the lids to the jars. Clean everything up, make sure that there is no sugar on the rims. That may interfere with the seal. You also don't want any sugar on the outside. Because the, the lids or the uh, rings may actually stick. Okay, let's clean this up because I wouldn't be grandma without a, making a mess. We have almost two pints of the corn cob mock maple syrup and I want to say six pints of the uh, lemon balm syrup. I've got one in the fridge. I'm going to go ahead and utilize that one. Uh, we're going to go ahead and water bath all of these jars. The 20 minutes for both the jelly jars and the pints. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I do have the air conditioner and fans going right now because it is warm, it is humid uh, because of that rainstorm that we did have. I am gonna go ahead and close everything up and hopefully we'll be able to get the humidity down in my house. Now, you can do this with any herb. I have mint that is about ready to explode that I'm probably going to do a batch of mint syrup. Number one, you can go ahead and use these just like pancake syrup. Uh, you, you can go ahead and drizzle a little bit of the lemon balm on the lemon balm of blondies that I just made. And um, you could also use them in drinks. You know how you have a mojito and you use the, the, the mint leaves and the mint, you know, mint syrup, stuff like that. You can use these to make mixed drinks. You can uh, add these to uh, mineral water to add a little bit of flavor to the mineral water. The possibilities are endless with these. Now I do see that we have uh, several new, new, new members. Okay, hi and welcome. I am, let me go ahead and introduce myself. I am Grandma Rebel. I not only do unusual recipes, but I also believe in making and growing your own ingredients. Just like with these syrups, with just like with the uh, infused butter and the dehydrating of uh, the garlic that we grew, there is your your possibilities are endless whenever you create your own ingredients. Anybody can give you a recipe to follow. It's the ingredients and the quality of the ingredients that go into that recipe that makes it yours and makes it your uh, and makes it healthy and nutritious for you. I realized that I used a heck of a lot of sugar in this. I am a celiac diabetic. 
I can handle a little bit of sugar. I mean, we're talking minute amounts. So if uh, if I was the only one in my house that was diabetic, uh, uh, you know, the only one in my house, because I have other people who live here um, that are not diabetic and can have sugar and, and, and gluten and everything else. Um, if I was the only one here, this syrup would last me two to three years because I would add it to little itty bitty things every once in a while. This syrup that I just made is probably going to be gone by Christmas because pancakes, ice cream, you can drizzle this on ice cream, uh, you can drizzle this on cake, anything and it will be gone honestly but hope you enjoyed i'm gonna go ahead and cool off and we'll see you next time